how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Planet Zoo. Well, look at our amazing adventure ride with the fuzzy dice. We are going to... Oh, we've finished some giant otter research, and are we researching all of our new animals? Um, we aren't, so we're going to take uh, Lisa Santos off of this and put her on ostrich. And then, let's see, let me make sure that everything that we've got is being researched. Yep, American Buffalo will take you off of Bengal Tiger Manto and put you over here. And fantastic. Okay, so now we're looking at it, and everything that we have so far in the zoo is being researched. Now, we have low welfare. Oh, no, this isn't low welfare. This is just um, another... African wild dog that has passed away. And so in this habitat, this um, dog house, if you look at it, we've got... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six African wild dogs. But four of them are elderly. Uh, now, four of them are pregnant, which is great. But we're going to need to get some new ones to replace the dogs that we lost. So, uh, I wish, like, is there a way to quickly, you know, like, for example, quick click on Leia and then click on, um, oh, what I want to do is basically go to animal trading, but have African wild dogs selected you know, um, from this screen somehow, but I don't know if there's a shortcut to do that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go here, reset all filters, and we're going to go for African Wild Dog. We need to fill this out. So let's get, um, these aren't the best, but we got one, and, um, boy, these aren't, these aren't fantastic, but we'll take them. All right. So then let me go to uh, animal storage. And did they arrive? They did. And so this dog, um, we're going to take both of these and we're going to um, send them to the zoo in this exhibit right here, into the dog house. Perfect. Okay. So we've got some new dogs coming in. Now let me check. And in this... What's the alert? Um, we've got two pregnants. Oh, we have no food. Is that the alert? Available food, zero. Hmm. All right, get there urgently. Is that what's going on here? Or is it, you know what it is. I bet it's the, er the alert is that a Springbok is upset about being seen. But I could be wrong. Um, maybe I need some more feeding areas for them. Let me look in this habitat. The animals, how are they doing? Their happiness is all pretty good. What is, what's the problem, Jar Jar? Oh, it's just not big enough. This habitat, the elephant habitat, just isn't quite big enough for everybody. And I can totally understand that, but I don't really have much room to expand this. But given the... Do I really need all of these large shelters? I don't think I do. I'm going to get rid of one. I'm going to just ditch this. And I'm going to ditch this. I'm going to ditch all of this. These plants. I think that these are just messing up our space. I know that they provided some shelter for the spring box, but um, I think that if I do that... Let me unpause it really quickly. Pause it, and then let me check them again. Does this help with your space? Yeah, their space went up by 6% by taking that out. And in terms of their habitat, they have enough hard shelter still. And they're fine. So, I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm also going to just take out these plants. I've been getting rid of the spring box steadily. And I don't want it to make mess up their um, 
like where they can walk. Um, animals, habitat, traversable area, uh-huh. Good. What about, um... All right, let me unpause it. Now, that didn't change anything, but it got them up to 90%, and that's probably as good as I'm going to be able to do for this habitat situation. So then let's go ahead and say hello to everybody. Hello. Hey -o. Hey -o. Funny. Okay. Um, perfect. And then... Now, let me look at my penguin habitat, actually. This thing gets out of control with too many animals. So, let me see. Let me make sure um, that we're okay in that regard. We have some really old penguins. So, you know, nature will take care of some of them. But, um, let me just, like, release these two to the wild. Just kind of make sure that we're doing our part to keep the space good. All right. So our zoo is fantastic. I do want to say, what time is it right now? In zoo world. I want to make it so it closes at like... All right, I think it opens too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yep. So let's say we have it close at like 7. And then open at 6.20. Okay. There we go. Now we have a daytime. I just like to see the zoo better in daytime. All right, I'm going to unpause it. Hopefully, it's like um, people were telling me on the comments. Oh, my God, this broke. Uh, mechanic urgently requested. Hopefully, it is um, like people were telling me on the comments, which is that day and night cycles are simply cosmetic and don't affect you know, income or anything like that. Look at this. Look how many people are queued up to ride on this. This thing is ridiculously successful. All right. So where we left off last time is fixing this African buffalo habitat. And the problem right now is there's no enrichment. There's no, you know, the, uh, environment that's fixed for them. Now, I will say this. Um, I found out that the ostrich that was injured uh, was not injured by the track. Nurse Incompetent was telling me that um, let's just take it to a quarantine facility. I don't know if that's what you need, but we need to get you fixed. So, City is hurt. And sometimes animals can arrive at your zoo injured, and that's what happened. It wasn't hit on the track. It just came here hurt. So, the track is safe. So, that part is good. Alright, now let's go to Animal Trading um, in our habitat here, which we're going to call um, uh, the buffalo... Oh, God, I'm not spelling that right. Uh, buffalo... Oh, no, I did spell that right. Um, the buffalo base. What we're going to do is... See, we've got three female buffaloes, so we need to pick up a buffalo that is... Um, male. And let's see if there's one available. Before, there just wasn't one that was available. Goodness gracious, it's, a, it's this way again. Refresh this list. This is outrageous. It's all girls. And honestly, this is kind of one aspect of this game that I'm a little confused about. Like, there should just be more variety. Maybe they're intentionally trying to make it difficult. But I, I find it hard to believe that on the entire globe, there are no male African buffaloes for me to acquire. Anyway, let's look at our terrain requirements. So, um, I'm going to go to nature. Oop, that's not the right thing to do. I'm going to go to terrain, and I'm going to go to... Uh, well, eventually it's the right thing, but let's look at them and say, when we look at your terrain requirement, you're from tropical grassland Africa, 
okay, and you want, like, soil, but you like a lot of long grass, but you want some short grass. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some short grass in here. And also, um, I'm going to put short grass all over the track so that, you know, that the track is smooth and you can see it. But Nurse Incompetent had a good idea of putting in a lake for the animals to wallow in. And they can put it, like, right here in this middle section so that the buffaloes can have fun in it. They do require swimming area, these buffalo. So let's do that for them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into sculpting. And we're going to start pushing this area where the buffaloes already are in. Dangerous animals have escaped. So this must have triggered them escaping somehow. Like it thinks that they've escaped because I've pushed this down. That's not really what happened. Um, but, you know, it's fun if they want to think that. Okay, and then I don't know how much swimming space they need, but can I push this? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can push it, like, right up to the edge of where the track is. That's awesome. Yeah, let's have it, like, waterside for this track. Okay. Now, if I wanted to put in water... Oh, this is all messed up. Um, it's because of this. Here, let me do this. Terrain... Um, no, sculpting. And let me go flatten to surface. I need to flatten this out. Important alert requires attention. These actually haven't escaped. So, I, I appreciate your concern, but that didn't actually happen. Alright, um... Let me see if I can do that. And let me see if now I can put water in here that's deep. Okay. If I put water like this... Alright, let me pause it... And they're all boxed up right there. That's funny. And unpause it. Alright, and then... Well, I have to wait for this boxing business to fix. Um, I don't know. Alright, I guess I'll just wait for this for a second. They're transporting them. Boy, I tell you what, don't try to build a water feature underneath boxed animals. We've got problems. Satisfy the African buffalo water requirement. Well, we did it. Okay, so I was going to look in the animal to see if we did it, but we did it. It's saying it's satisfied right now, and they get to drive by and see some huge boxes floating in the water. How fortunate for them. All right, um, let's look at you. What do you want? Oh, you're actually all of a sudden very happy except for enrichment. Okay, so let's go to habitat. And let's go to enrichment items. And we're going to just filter this for um, ostrich. Oh, no. Well, we can... Here, let me see this. What are you? You are a common ostrich. That's funny. All right, um... Anything that you guys both like? Alright, so... Uh, I can give you, like, a forage box that's right by the track so people can see you. And then we can put um, a big ball out to play with. And then we can put a rubber duck in the water. A grazing ball feeder. Let me unpause it. And look at your requirements now. Now you just need toy. Oh, you still need toy. Okay. Snowman. Sprinkler. Absolutely. And slow feeder. Sure. And then one more toy. Oh, this is a food thing. Um, a Skittle. That's not a toy for you. What about a, a barrel feeder? I'm giving you guys mirror mobile, whatever. Okay, good. Now their enrichment is completely satisfied. Now for terrain, um, the coverage, they would like some more. They don't like this much long grass and they want soil. Okay, so let's go to terrain and let me paint. And we're going to put on soil. 
all around the water. Right? And hopefully we can start to get their requirement for soil taken care of. There we go. Yep, it's going up. And they still want more short grass. And I think the buffalo want that too. So, there we go. Okay, great. I'm going to unpause it. And... Alright, I'm going to pause it again. Can I unbox these things? Unbox all animals. Where do, the, where do they go? Are they just under the water now? Animals? Oh, they're like way over here. Okay, great. So they are happy, actually. In terms of their habitat, their welfare is 100%. They're getting an interspecies bonus. Their enrichment is absolutely great. Now it's just nutrition for them. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is... <laughs> we're over a million on our money. That's awesome. We need to put up education stuff, and we need to feed these animals. So let's go to Habitat, and let's go to Beds and Shelters. Um, food and Water. All right, so... I love the water pipe. Now, they can drink from this, so... They should be all good. But let's put that there. And then we're going to put, like, an enormous food trough here. Um, and one over there. And then a few like that. And so hopefully that's enough food for everybody. It's all put down. And then what I want to do is I want to go into nature. And I want to select filters, biome, um, grassland, tropical... Actually, I don't know. I know it was tropical. Continent. Africa. What was the other... Um, it is grassland. Grassland and tropical. And then you also... Your um, grassland and desert. So let's go then... Filters. Um, biome. Let's do just grassland Africa. Okay? And then this should make them both pretty happy. This is my favorite... Some of my favorite stuff are these enormous trees. Put these babies over here. Terrific. Um, let me see what else we can do. Yeah, this looks cool. I like these trees. Let's just spice a few of these in here. Nettles, meh, nah, don't need that. All right, how we doing? Um, let me see in terms of their coverage. Yeah, we're right in, they don't want too much coverage, actually. So that's good. Oh, this is kind of nice. Uh-huh, just like put a few of these around just to give a little vitality to this area, make it not look so much like a, uh, a zoo, you know? This can be somebody's, like, cool perch. Yeah, I'm putting boulders and stuff in here. I like boulders. I'm going to spin this one around like that. Perfect. Okay. So, this isn't, you know, necessarily done. Oh, let me check, make sure that um, in terms of uh, navigable swimming area. It looks like they can swim here. Okay. Um... All right, so these animals all seem happy. And let me check the animal trading again. And let me just go over here to African Buffalo. But we're going to go to the market. Now we got one more female, but no males. Man. All right. And let me click on this and see about... Um, these guys like... 
Um, so, for, what's interesting is, like, they don't really require hard shelter. They're totally fine with what they've got. They like this. They like... Oh, they give you a, a better breakdown of, like, their enrichment. That's cool. Social, adult population. They would like more adults, and we'll get more adults. Zoopedia. Let me just look at this and look for um, interspecies. So, we can throw in wildebeests with them. And uh, maybe some warthogs. So, let's look at wildebeest. And see if we can get any of those. I hope that they are they play nicely with ostrich. They usually do. Alright, wildebeest. Can we get any at the animal market? Oh man, I keep doing that. Yep. There you go. Okay, fantastic. We can, but oh my goodness, they're expensive. What about you? Hey, you're not expensive. Great. And then, so we got that female. Are there any other males that aren't a bajillion conservation points? Man, people are running up the price on these uh, wildebeests. It's a dangerous market if you're trying to get a wildebeest. All right, animal trading, storage. All right, so I have a, a male and a female. And we're going to send these to the zoo right here. And we're going to unpause it. All right, let's see what people think about this. Oh, well, I'm still not done. I have to go to facilities and media devices and education. And I need to start putting on some education boards so people know uh, what is even in these habitats. Okay, and this is... Buffalo. And this is... Buffalo. Now, but I'm going to actually... Um, what do you think? I wish I could throw this away. Oh no, they don't have trash cans. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Okay, so I need to give them trash cans. So we gotta build trash cans. I also wanna build pedestrian walkways um, that move up and go around the edges of this that are raised up so that they can really see in here. I might have one that goes across the middle to get a better view, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. All right, let's go ahead and do um, bins, benches, and security and start throwing in trash cans for everybody. There. That's a good bit of those. And then let me uh, start throwing in just places to sit. Uh-huh. There. And then they also need... Um, oh. Uh, donation boxes. We need money. How are we going to survive without money okay and then all right let me unpause it there should be more scenery around here yeah you got that right okay that's fine that's fair i haven't decorated this part yet um the penguin are about to have offspring beautiful and look at this this little ride is going around, and people are able to see ostriches. The, the uh, African dogs have arrived. Another ride is coming around. I mean, can you imagine this? You would get to drive by and see, like, buffalo and ostriches just 
chilling. Wow, that was almost a collision. All right. We got a bargain for tickets. Uh-oh. So much room to walk around. This place rocks. This zoo is great, okay? What did you guys think of the ride? I can't believe I'm in the African buffalo habitat. Seeing the African buffalo this um, up close is the best show in town. Ooh, they didn't like the scenery. Maybe it's out here that they don't like the scenery. I can fix that. I mean, inside, I guess the scenery isn't great. There. Bunch of these trees. Perfect. Maybe that makes the scenery a little bit better. And then nature... Let me plop down... Um, maybe not elephant grass. That's a little tall, but... You know, uh, uh, that's tall too. Can I get something that's like a little bit more substantial, but. Oh, wow, this tree is huge. Nice. All right. All right, what do you think about that scenery, people? better oh yeah we're gonna put nettles in you're gonna get nettles galore no I want um, nettle large yeah oh you know what I love these uh... yeah African daisies let's just make this like a floral exhibition masterpiece so you guys are walking around here and then you're just bombarded with flowers you won't even believe how many flowers we've worked in. We have a professional staff of gardeners working on these flowers around the clock. Yep, you know you're getting into it. When you come over here. There we go. Look at this. Now that's actually pretty sweet. Um, let me get down here. Yep. There. Oh yeah, wait. This side of the path isn't covered? Let me get it. I see. You want something to look at on the, your adventure tour, and I can understand that. I was listening. I've decorated. Great. all the way in people you will see flowers fantastic now that is some daisy work all right now we have some sweet trees and we have an entrance granted this isn't too much scenery but they don't want a lot of coverage but I think I can get away with putting some more coverage in there for them and this person this uh, keeper right now is is running with the wildebeests to throw them in there so we are making tremendous progress for the moment let me go to zoo staff um, I want to select everyone and I'm just going to raise everyone's level just keep this staff operating at its peak. Fantastic. Okay, so it looks like we've got some education for the buffalo, and the wildebeests are just about to pop in. We have a hilarious albino wildebeest, and uh, that is, you know, pretty desirable, much more desirable than the regular wildebeest. Uh, we've got a buffalo chilling right there on the ground. And another buffalo, or wildebeest, I'm sorry, that's a black wildebeest that just happens to be albino. How great is that? Um, they do need a hard shelter, though. And 
there's too few adults for them. Okay. So we do need to start building some hard shelters. So habitat, beds and shelters. Let's look for species. Um, black wildebeest, African buffalo, black wildebeest, common ostrich. Let's try to find, you know, a hard structure that would be good for them. Uh, no, no, no. New world. Where is new? Yeah. I think one of these might do the trick here. Uh, we could actually just do these. And then let me just kind of put it over here and rotate it so that they can get inside. And then I do want to see if that will count for their hard shelter. It did just like that. So they have a hard shelter now that they're happy about. And that's tremendous. Okay, let's unpause it. Actually, I'm going to pause it again because I do want to go back to the animal market and I'm going to look for some more wildebeests. Ooh. Yeah, get that guy. 34. Sometimes people put thing, them on sale and they're just like so much cheaper than the other ones and it just makes you so happy. Is there a male African buffalo? There is. Oh my gosh. And he's cheap. Yes. We did it. We got a male African buffalo and we got a female wildebeest. No, a male wildebeest, I think. Hopefully that's okay with their, uh, let me look at my, actually, I can't even remember what I bought. Um, I did get a male wildebeest. No, no, male buffalo, female wildebeest. I got the perfect things. Okay, great. And can we move these to the zoo? Send to zoo right here. Perfect. All right. So that should pump that up. We've got a nice little water feature that the animals can get into. Our uh, adventure ride is definitely picked up. You can't see the common ostrich very well. Oh, they've... You know what? They've come in over here to try to see the ostrich. And that's when the problems start to arise. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to immediately begin working on a way for people who are not on the adventure train to see these animals. And this is how we do this. We just go to paths and we're gonna select a regular path. And we're gonna make this a nice and wide path. Mm -hmm. Right here. But we're gonna just elevate it like that. Now that's a little bit longer than we wanted, um, but hilarious. Uh, can we make this shorter? There we go. What's the shortest we can make it? All right, there. And then we're gonna just mouse click it down so that, yep, it's perfect. Now, I can't decide, do I want to go right over? Yes, let's just go over this way. I didn't think about it, but this is pretty good. So this way, we can maximize the view for uh, people. Now, the issue is they're going to, uh, unfortunately, if we go this way, they might get into the negative impact um, area. Oh, no, it's actually pretty good. Okay, great. Then let me just go back one step on this. I can wheel this a little bit better. All right, we're past it, and so let me take off the heat map, and what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm actually going to leave the path there for the time being. These trees have to be moved out of the way, obviously or we'll have a disaster, but uh, I'm going to turn all of this path into walking path. So that I can connect it. Oh boy. These are little pieces, huh? This isn't what I was hoping for. Um, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, great. And then, um, let me actually just delete this path that's right here so I can have a better point to come down from here. All right, I have to scoot this out a little bit and then just like that. 
And then um, for this path, I'll need to paths, delete path there. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we're going to go to staff path. I'm going to try to see if I can swing this path. Uh, not as wide as that, please. I'll just connect it like right uh, here. Sort of. Yeah, that doesn't look great, but it does the job. Okay, so now let me grab this tree and move it out. And then grab this tree. And move it out. There. So now what we have is a situation where people can see these animals a lot more clearly. I might even take away these glass walls so that people don't try to view them from that far away because they're going to hate that view. But I don't know if, you know, they'll still just try to stand there or if they'll come up here. We'll find out. I'm going to unpause it. All right, now what we're going to need to do is start uh, decking this entire place out with all of the finery in terms of, you know, trash cans, benches, educational materials. So that we don't have any clutter, litter, garbage, anything negative. All right. Fantastic. That's good. And then... Um, I do like these benches. I know I'm not consistent on my benches, but I find that these benches are pretty comfortable looking. And then I'll just put them by the trash can so that people who are, you know, sitting down, maybe they're drink, they can throw it away easily, and then they can smell the trash and be really happy as they relax. Not really, but it just kind of looks better if they go there. There we go. And this way, um, oh man, my reticulated giraffe. That is so unfortunate. I'm sorry. Oh, it's in the ha it's in the shelter. We're gonna need to get a new giraffe. Um, let me pause it. This habitat. Um. Mm, let me try to select it. It's not the easiest. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is animals. We really only have... Boy, Senora Stripes is about to pass away. Oh, there's not even available food. You know, it's funny. I think Nurse Incompetent was telling me this, but it's like you, you somehow have to click on your keepers to put food in these things. And I, I'm just blown away by that. Like, it seems like it should be automatic that if you have keepers, they should come in here and provide the animals with food. Um, but anyway, animals, um, giraffes. How many do we have? Oh, that animal has already passed away. So we only have females. So we got to get a male giraffe. So let's go to animal trading. And let's go to reset filters. And we're going to just search for um, reticulated giraffe. And we need a male reticulated giraffe. And the only ones available at the moment are albinos that are so many conservation points that it's criminal. Um, oh, man, that makes, that makes you cry. That makes me cry. All right, well, I'm going to have to fix that. Okay. So what we've done then is really, really look at this habitat right here. And the new animals have arrived here. Fantastic. We've got the wildebeest and the buffalo. Everything's in, but this animal has passed away. Ebeo, RIP, my friend, RIP. All right. Okay, well, I'm back after a short break, and yeah, there's still just female 
I mean, I don't mean just, but in the situation where I need males, that's where I'm at. All right, so we are in the business of decorating this path across. And look at this. The ostriches are clustered together. This ostrich is basically stopping this adventure experience from even happening, which is hysterical. Let's see if I can click on somebody in here. I barely queued at all. They like that a lot. The adventure tickets are a steal. Zebra Zipper looks ace. So they love, you know, the extra attractions that we have. Uh, let's see. Let's check on the animals. And the meal quality is poor, but most of the things are good here. Uh, food enrichment is not satisfactory, though, for the wildebeest. So let's go to habitat. And let's do enrichment, food enrichment. And let's look for, you know, uh, black wildebeest and try to get them something cool. Yeah, here you go. Um, that's pretty awesome. That is also awesome. Let me unpause it and let me go into their food enrichment. That's like full up. They love it. The group is balanced, but they might, I don't know what is upset, upsetting them about the situation. Um, Maybe it's not big enough, or they don't like the fact that there's too many... Are these guys fighting? Are you fighting male and male? Yeah, this is the alpha male fighting against the regular male. So actually, I might have to get rid of this this particular male here that I acquired because uh, we don't want to have too many males. Let me go into the Zoopedia. Oops. No, no, no. Cancel that. Um, I want to go into the Zoopedia on Wildebeest and look at their species data. One male and 31 females. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I made a mistake. We'll have... Um, this one is much older, and so I'm actually going to release uh, this animal to the wild... Yeah, because um, it, it's older. And then now, hopefully... Let me see if this helps the uh, the social group situation. There's too few adults. They don't like that. But I need to get more female black wildebeests to uh, satisfy this. Okay, we could do that. So let me go into animal trading and the animal market. And are there any male giraffes yet? Refresh that list. Come on, big money. Nope, okay. Um, reset. And we need black wildebeest. Here we go. We need females. You got any females? Um, we do. I'll buy some for cash. That's fine. Ooh, ooh. How about, how about not that? This is fine. Adopt. Let's just get some more. And then we can worry about... Balancing this out later. Yep, adopt that for sure. Okay, great. And then let's go to storage. And... Oh, I have an African buffalo just in my storage. Whoops. That's a mistake. Send to the zoo. Send everybody here. All right. And let's go ahead and let's say hi to everybody. Rack up these conservation points. Okay, so look at this section of our zoo. This is the consumer prison, this horseshoe that we built. And at first it was just naked. There was nothing around it. And now we have an impressively huge habitat here for buffalo and wildebeest and ostrich. And then also we have our amazing hippo exhibit that people love. People can't get enough of this. This zoo is great. But... We do still have thirst issues, and we're going to need to deal with that. There's birdies, or Bernie's bakes, rather. And look, okay, let's pause it. People are coming up. People are coming up. And um, these facility buildings are ruining their, their experience. Oh, this is hurting you? I thought I was far enough away on that. Um... 
it must have been while they were riding on the zebra's zipper or just right here, but that's pretty brutal. I don't know what I can say about that. You just have to deal with it. Alright, um... Okay, let me unpause it. And look at these ostriches. These are unreal. This looks so good. Alright, so what we need to do is resume this and we're going to go to facilities, media devices, and education, um, habitat, and we need to build a bunch of education on the walkway to help people understand what it is that they're seeing. So, uh, yeah. Um, can you... Hmm. Can you not do what you're doing? That's a little bit better, but yeah, okay, there we go. And we'll just push this over here and rotate it. And then push it back here. Uh-huh. And then say, yep. And then I'm going to just have this... Um, this will be buffalo. But, you know... Um, actually, can I select this and then just... Uh, darn, I was hoping to be able to copy it. Nope, nope, okay. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Duplicate. I just like that positioning. Gosh, this is awkward. I wish it would just lay flat. And let me try it again. Like, I want it to go on my... Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of just dropping beneath... That's actually okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sometimes you can... When you do it like this, then you can just slide them and you don't have to kind of worry about messing with it again. I'm going to change some of these so that they're not all showing buffalo. But for now, this will do. There we go. Just kind of pleasantly... Uh, this object must be moved before it can be placed. Oh, yes, it must be. There's another one there. I didn't see that. Oh, we... But this is showing me where we don't have power. I think. Or I just... Because I cloned it, it's not turn to a channel yet, but either way, it's fine. We have to put these to a channel on our own. You know, let's just slide this over further. Good. And I think one... No, that's fine. Yeah, there's no power over here for this whole stretch. Um, so let me go to the heat map and let me go to po uh, power. Yeah. So I'm going to have to unfortunately just Build one of these inside here. Like that. In with the animals. Not my favorite. Actually, can I move it? Yeah, let me put it underneath. Does it still work? It actually might not. blocked by shelter. Yeah, it's solar power so it doesn't work. That's fine. That's funny. It's cool that the game understands that. I was just trying to do it to uh, not ruin the guest view, but we'll be good. Alright, let me go to zoo, and then just quickly go to staff, work zones, um, consumer prison. Let me just make sure that somebody is taking care of all of these items. There. Whoops. Um, I mean, yeah, 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 add, add these, and that, and that, yep, 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 
There we go. Okay. Now everything's being tended to. Now this channel, we want to make sure that it's uh, wildebeest, and then this one can be um, ostrich. And then wildebeest, ostrich. Uh-huh. Wildebeest, ostrich, wildebeest. All right, now they get a variety while they're walking. I'm going to unpause it. Now, I think the other thing we need is guest facilities. Um, we're going to start to need some vending machines. So I'm going to just throw in a bunch of, like, pip shop water and the like. Um, let me pause this. What's going on here? Power source inaccessible. Now, see why? The staff can get in here, right? You can't just do that? Like, why is it inaccessible? Can a mechanic not come inside? Huh, maybe they can't. Maybe I need to build a bigger power source. It's weird. There's some education boards connected to this, but other than that, there really isn't anything. I just figured that they could, like... I didn't realized that they needed a path to get to it. So, apparently they do. Well, you know what I have to do? And this is really awful, but I'm gonna, um, move this, and we're gonna just, uh, exit the group, and we're gonna raise it. And I'm gonna connect it like that. Now it's accessible. It doesn't look great, but hey, now we got a solar panel up there. Unpause it. Oh, ideal temperature problem? What is going on? It's too... It's too hot. Oh, okay, great. Well, not great, but we can take care of that. What do you... What kind of temperature do you like? Um, oh, where does it tell the, the temperature? All right, let me go to Zoopedia. What is their ideal temperature? Five to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we're gonna need to go to facilities. I'm sorry, habitat, uh, heaters and coolers. And we're gonna need to get coolers and just kinda put them out here. Sorry, seals. Hopefully that's enough. Let me see if this helps uh, cool it down for this animal. There we go. Temperature. Tick, 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 tick. Going up, going up. There we go. We got it. Great. All right. Beautiful. And the gray seal. We learn more about it. And the temperature has been fixed. Ooh, the ostriches are already about to mate. How beautiful is nature, the circle of life. Okay, great, we got more animals coming into the habitat. Yep, we got the new buffalo. Amazing. Oh, they have a stress problem? No, they seem okay. All right, here's the black wildebeest, and the group is balanced, but we probably need some more ladies to make this even better, right? Awesome. So good. Well, everybody, I think that this habitat is looking just fantastic. We've got the walkway. We've got the education. We've got more animals coming in. Um, they enjoy the water. They're all happy. And what do these people think? Um, it's so hot. I'm going to need refreshment. Um, I'm too hot. Oh, okay. So people are getting hot. So what we're going to need to start doing is building... Uh, more vending machines. So let's do that. How about some milk? Would that help you? Milk. Milk. 
milk, and then gulpy, gulpy, gulpy. Perfect. All right, everybody. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you next time as we build more drink machines and finish this up in Planet Zoo. Take care.